Well, it's a runoff. The results came in last night as Charleston residents casted their votes for a new city mayor the first time in 40 years. John Tecklenburg and Leon Stavernakis soared to the top of the polls. Tecklenburg pulled in 36 percent of the vote and Stavernakis 35 percent. The runoff election is set for November 17th. And joining us now is Charleston mayoral candidate John Tecklenburg. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, Octavia. I know it's been a long night for you. Yes. And a good one. Yeah. A great Were one. you surprised by the results at all? You know, I really wasn't. I've been feeling our momentum building. It's really been um, a terrific positive campaign. And last Sunday, we got the endorsement of the Post and Courier. So I, I, I felt this momentum building. And, and yesterday was a great day to be, to be the top vote getter. 36% of the vote. What is your next course of action? Well, the next course of action, it really is continue a positive campaign to talk about the issues that, that face Charleston and our future. And I really believe the number one issue is our quality of life. And that means a lot of um, issues and challenges uh, fall from that statement. But I want Charleston to be the number one place to live in addition to being such a great place to visit. So your top issue? It's quality, quality of, of life, life issues, mm -hmm. and that can involve many things depending on where you live. It can differ, like downtown tourism management is important. West Ashley, I believe strategic economic development is important. Regionally, we have important issues that impact our whole region that the mayor needs to be a strong leader on, including transportation, trying to build a public transit system that works, helping our schools along. But with my experiences working in city government as director of economic development, I'm equipped to uh, take on these challenges, and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to help lead Charleston forward. So you have an opportunity to talk to voters, and your, your big, the, the main message you want to get across now as you, you work over this two weeks is what? Is, is that positive quality of life challenges mm -hmm. that face our city and making this the number one place to live. Are you expecting any big endorsements? Well, we, we certainly hope so. Uh, we're, we're, we're always working on uh, increased support, and mm -hmm. we're going to uh, ask the voters who didn't vote for us yesterday to take a, a new look at us, and we're going to reach out to new voters that didn't vote yesterday. Only 26% of our registered voters came out to vote yesterday, which was about what we mm -hmm. expected, but that leaves 74% of voters that, that didn't vote. Yeah, so Mayor Riley expected, you know, is going to be leaving after 40 years. What a big change for Charleston. Well, it will be, and he's been a terrific leader, and, and no one else I know could have brought Charleston from where it was 40 years ago to where it is today. But I say it's our community working together that needs to take Charleston to the next level of becoming an even better place. And I had the, the great honor to work with him as Director of Economic Development and saw that commitment and that worth work ethic that he has. And I look forward to continue that tradition. All right, exciting, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you, Octavia. Well, we certainly wish you good luck. God bless. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so All much. All right, and remind everybody that that runoff election is going to take place on Tuesday, November 17th.